right, here comes baby bonus rant from a brand new empty nester. Uh, yeah, yeah, I became uh, officially, officially an empty nester last week. I uh, missed a couple days of podcasts because I was moving my young son into college. And yeah, uh, our, our house is uh, empty as far as kids. They're gone. They're gone. And my, I got to admit, my, um, eh, my wife is having uh, a bit of a difficult time. Not, I mean, she's handling it, but I can, you know, I can see, I can see it bothers her. Um, and do I think about it, contemplate, reflect over it? Yes, I do. Um, but again, I'm a male and anytime, you know, we tend to, you know, start feeling down about something, we, we crack jokes or, or make fun in, in order to deflect to some degree, but I'm, I'm sure, um, I'm sure it's going to be hitting me little by little, you know, looking at things again, we're also packing up our house, uh, cause we're leaving and looking at some of the things from when they were younger and, and whatnot. Um, say definitely it's a new chapter. New chapter for uh, our family, without a doubt. But uh, I'm going to tie this in. Tie this into this baby bonus competition that's taking place between um, the Democrats and Republicans. And, and I, I have to, I have to delve into this article today in the uh, Wall Street Journal again. Uh, it, 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 it's uh, how far the Wall Street Journal has fallen. Um, I'm going to read to you some of this, just how ridiculous this is. The first year of a baby's life is costly and stressful for new parents who often lose income as well as sleep as the bills mount. Um, really? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Wall Street Journal. Um, yeah. Um, if you, you go into having a baby. And you don't realize that it's expensive. Um, I, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, uh, baby stuff's expensive. Oh, strollers and all that stuff that that was involved with that. I remember I was the you know, Enfamil and all of those things. It's not cheap. But guess what? It doesn't get any cheaper. It doesn't get any cheaper. Oh, way to go on. And when they start having extracurricular activities and whether it be piano lessons and tutors or uh, club lacrosse, whatever it may be, the kids, uh, they don't get cheaper. They don't get cheaper. They get more I expensive. Okay. Um, you know, our food bill is when everybody is home, um, uh, you know, the boys, they, they can put it away. But anyway, neither here nor there. And they're talking about the first year. Vital, vital year, critical development. Costs can add up, especially for young parents who need to buy diapers and clothes and a car seat and so much else, Harris said during a campaign speech. Has that changed? Has, has that changed? Um, again, again, I remember. I remember when my younger brothers were babies and the diaper bag, I visual that might carry around and the strollers and, you know, going to, uh, you know, amusement parks and doing stuff as a family. Uh, back in the day, babies needed diapers, all these things too. So uh, again, and now uh, it's, it's up to, um, it's up to your fellow taxpayer. You now it's up to your fellow taxpayer to help foot the bill. Um, Harris wants to expand the child tax credit, uh, which provided up to $3,600 per child. She wants it to go up to $3,600. Um, but then in the first year, she wants it to be $6,000. And again, here's the Wall Street Journal. Having a baby in the U.S. causes a 10.4% income drop on average from the month the baby is born compared with before the pregnancy. Parents work fewer hours or stop working. The U.S. doesn't mandate paid parental leave, as many countries do. Yeah, many businesses go out. They already provide paid parental leave. You want to mandate whatever it may be. Um, again, again, um, is this a black swan event? 
Are, are any of these things that they're talking about in the Wall Street Journal, are any of them black swan events? They're coming out of nowhere. No, no, you, you, you know this already. Here again, Wall Street Journal. Meanwhile, families have new expenses, diapers, food, medical bills. The cost of daycare and preschool rose at nearly twice the rate of inflation between 1991 and this spring. Infant care can top $1,400 a month in big cities. Um, yeah, it's a lot. Um, I, I don't know. Jeez, if you decide to have a kid, I, I know maybe the option is maybe you don't go back to work. Maybe, maybe you, you stay and, and raise your kid. Just throwing it out there. Just throwing it out there. Um, and then they go, they ought to find somebody. Again, I, I, gotta find, I don't know how they find these people. Again, they, they always find the people to fit their stories. Uh, here's a lady who said the $6,000 credit would have been a lifeline after her third child was born in 2022. She took 12 weeks of unpaid leave because of health concerns. Um, it's your third child. It's great. Want to have I, no problem with that? But you didn't realize the costs that were involved. And she talks about well, to manage, we had to make trade offs. We canceled cable, dropped auto insurance, and skipped family trips. You, you, you dropped your auto insurance, and, and guess what? As it turns out, again, right, same article. She dropped the we got in a car accident and they totaled their car and they can't afford to replace it. Um, you dropped your auto insurance. Isn't that, Ill I, isn't that illegal? Not, everything in life is about trade offs. It's a, I, I, is this anything new? Or, or again, this, we're going to go back to freedom. Freedom, freedom from the expenses of child care. We're gonna, we do, we're gonna provide freedom. But it, again, it's not just the Democrats, the Republicans as well. JD Vance wants five thousand for it. You've got other ones that are there: Mike V, Marco Rubio, five thousand yearly child tax credit. Um. Again, Republicans just killed one this, you know, just recently, okay, that would have expanded it. Um, and again, they said it was too generous and it was going to discourage people from working. Um, and again, they said, oh, this is, this is going to be a bonus, a bonus for falling birth rates. No, no, it, it, it's not going to be a bonus. Um, and again, you're saying, oh, okay, I, I got a $6,000 child tax credit, first year of life. Well, oh, gee whiz, guess what? Now I'm going to have a baby. Um, if, if you're thinking that, don't. Don't do it. Anyway, watchdog on wallstreet.com.